thank you, Carol. Thank you so much. It's a privilege for us both to recognise the hard work of the emergency services. Four finalists for this year's award were selected from across the services. All our nominees uh, demonstrated courage beyond the call of duty. But what our winners did in terrifying circumstances was truly extraordinary. This dramatic police footage shows a woman's fight for life in the flooded waters of the River Tor in the early hours of December 23rd last year. Things couldn't really have got much worse for her. I thought that I was going to die. Vanessa Glover had been driving home from a Christmas party with husband Paul and seven-year-old son Silas when their car was engulfed by surging flood water. Please, I'm quick, we need some help, Silas, please. Paul managed to get out and pull Silas onto the roof. I've got him, I'm But as Vanessa struggled to join them, a sudden surge. She was pulled into the floodwaters and blasted towards the river. I took off at the speed of a rocket. I didn't know how I would survive. I just thought I've got to hold on to something, and I just reached out. Vanessa had grabbed the last tree before the river. While firefighters had managed to rescue her family, her life hung in the balance. On full move, and I would be swept downstream. That terrified me. Although a police chopper had spotted Vanessa, it had no winch. A flood response team from the RNLI were now her only chance of rescue. The amount of water coming down was just unbelievable. She wouldn't have been able to hold on much longer. Time's the essence. With conditions worsening, the crew had to weigh the chances of making a successful rescue against being killed themselves. We thought there's a very real chance that we don't come back from this. <coughs> the screaming will certainly live with me for forever. You can do as many risk assessments as you like, but, you, you know, human nature is telling you you need to get in there and do something about it. I did right. This is it. We, we need to go, and we need to go now. The crew had gambled that the tiny dinghy could cope with the surging river, but 400 yards downstream was a bridge, and anything hitting that would be smashed to bits. There would have been no doubt that we would have died. It can't get any more intense. But worse still, the current was hurtling tons of debris into the craft. You're in an inflatable boat that at any moment could be punctured. Their engine was also taking a battering. That would have ripped the gearbox off the bottom of it. We've got no power. That would have been catastrophic. Battling the current, the crew inched towards where they thought Vanessa might be. We just didn't know her exact location. And to make matters worse, Vanessa had fallen silent. You don't know what, what's happened to her. She could be face down in water dying. Her time was, was running out. Panic set in. I knew that rescuers may not be able to get to me. But they did get to her. I remember screaming, just grab her. These two hands took hold of me with such determination. So it was a case of just getting her into the boat as safely as possible. To keep the craft stable, Vanessa lay face down as they retraced their course back to the far bank and safety. They were so courageous and determined. We were all very relieved, uh, ecstatic really, to, to give her back to her family for Christmas again was then fantastic. I'd like to say to them, um, thank you for saving my mum's life on Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Paul Eastman, Martin baker Rowe, and Chris Misson from the RNLI Flood Rescue Team. a really tough one, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was about as tough as I'd ever like it to get, yeah. I know. You did so, so well, all of you. Chris, also, your, your mum wasn't very happy with you, was she? No, when we get deployed on, uh, on flood rescue, she can't sleep, so watches uh, the news. Uh, and rings me up just after the rescue and says, I've watched an amazing rescue on the news. Um, <laughs> so uh, I said, oh, mum, that was actually me. 
Yeah, it's him from an amazing rescue to absolutely me being an idiot and uh, should never, ever, ever do anything so silly again. <laughs> and you did a brilliant, brilliant job too. No, I, I was lucky. I was just the team leader, so I'm going to say a big thank you to the rest of the team. Fantastic. For the job they did that night as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Now, the stars who asked you to present your award tonight thought your story was obviously completely and utterly unbelievable, and that's saying something because these two work on a soap. Ladies and gentlemen, Corey stars Michelle Collins and Helen Worth. <laughs> We saw the footage and obviously um, there was a really treacherous waters out there that night. And you had literally seconds probably to, to make that decision. And you decision. hadn't met before, had you? No, we, no. Uh, we introduced ourselves at the fire station that night. <laughs> um, so I was a taken Welshman in the place. <laughs> <laughs> so are you friends now? We're friends for life. I mean, we know you're brave men from the footage that we've seen. All of you tonight are heroes. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. I know.